Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Teddy and this is Cthulhu Saves the World as we all knew that the Great Old One would. Now, this is very old school and I love it for that like 2-bit, 2-bit? What the hell is a 2-bit? 8-bit scrolling game, old school Final Fantasy type thing. Look at the menu! The menu's gorgeous! Right, let's jump in. Uh, the Intrepid Adventure, not too hard, not too easy. Yeah, no, we'll go with normal. Commentary off. For countless ages, that unthinkable being known as Cthulhu has lain dormant in his underwater city of Relay. Cthulhu, a being so terrible that his mere presence is enough to drive mere mortals insane. Cthulhu sleeps while the world above goes on, oblivious to his presence. Until tonight. I can great Cthulhu! As Cthulhu emerged from the bay, the world seemed doomed. Oh, the world seemed doomed indeed. But wait, what's that? A brave and mysterious stranger has appeared from high atop yonder cliff. Using a strange holy power, the mysterious stranger has sealed away Cthulhu's horrible power. His power drained, Cthulhu washes up on the neighboring shore, defeated and dejected. Gah, after waiting all this time to have victory snatched from my grasp by a mere mysterious man is highly frustrating. I must get my powers back, but how? Luckily for the world, Cthulhu didn't know the one and only way to break the curse and regain his powers. In order to break the curse and regain his powers, he would have to do the unthinkable. He would have to become a true hero. Only by becoming a true hero would his powers return to him. Oh, that face! <laughs> <laughs> Foolish narrator, while you were busy explaining the situation to the player, I was eavesdropping. Now I too know the way to regain my power. Oh. My bad, guys. I done goofed. <laughs> Whoops. I, Cthulhu, do hereby vow to devote my life to becoming a true hero but only so that I can regain my powers, summon Relay to service, and destroy the world. O of course. And thus, a most unlikely hero was born. <laughs> See, your new life as a wannabe RPG hero. Before we begin, allow me to give you a few pointers. Okay. The great Cthulhu needs no assistance. However, for the benefit of the lonely player who dares control me, I will allow you to continue with your feeble tips. Hold the left shift key while moving to run really fast. Let's shift come on, there it is. Okay. Haha, <laughs> foolish game developer. By giving me the ability to run, I'll finish this silly game in half the time. I'll be able to sell it back to the game store before the trading value drops. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Press the tab key to bring up your menu. From here, you can chat with members of your party, check out your stats, start a fight, change your equipment, Save your game or teleport back to cities you visited. I can save any time? What is this, a first person shooter? <laughs> Use abilities like Insanity Slash in combat to make your enemies insane. Insane enemies take more damage from attacks, but watch out, a few enemies become more dangerous when insane. There will be no watching out, I shall bestow the gift of insanity upon all! Build up your combo count with hits, then unleash a powerful combo for your ability like Death Blow for massive damage. Are you done yet? If it's alright with you, I'd like to actually play this game sometime this year. Good luck! Cosmic monstrosities don't need luck. We forge our own destinies, no matter what the cost to humanity. Okay, right. And running! See, we learned that. What's this? Three one-ups. You can use one-ups to reset a failed battle. Nice! Ready! Let's have her! Aha! A helpless maiden beset by monsters. I shall rescue her, thus becoming a true hero. That would work for a normal person, but you have a lot of evil to atone for. It will take many heroic deeds before you're even remotely close to being considered a true hero. Fundang! And I will kill the monsters anyway, just for the sake of violence. Who doesn't like a bit of violence? A Gui's approaches. Okay. Normal strength. Attack. 
19 damage. 6 and 6. Uh, see again. It's one star and one and what? They got Cthulhu has not learned any spells yet. Well, you're useless. Let's try it out. No, let's do it for the one we want here. Oh, hello. Cthulhu holds the same strike. Two hits. 28 damage points for the goose. The goose is defeated. Hooray! Uh, let's try death blight. Boom! I win! <laughs> Cthulhu is now level 4. Uh, insane strength, passivity, each insane enemy gives, gives strength plus 10%. Foul slime monsters! As Cthulhu defeated the final slime monsters, final slime monsters, plural, he turned his gaze to the maiden that he had rescued. Gorgeous! What? When Umi gazed upon the mighty Cthulhu, she did not see a crazed octopus dragon man. <laughs> Instead, she saw this. Warning, image displayed may not reflect reality. <laughs> My hero! Hero indeed! Did you hear that? Do I count as a true hero yet? Phenomen! At this rate, I shall never become a true hero and regain my cosmic powers of destruction. Oh, my warrior! Who has saved me from a gooey death? Let me join you on your noble quest. Do you do anything besides get attacked by spy monsters? I have an affinity with the creatures of the sea and call them my friends. It's Aqualady! Pass! Oh, and I have this trident which I use to stab things. Pass <laughs> <laughs> more like it! <laughs> and above all, I only promise you wholehearted love and devotion, your great big green hunk of handsomeness. Yes, the great Cthulhu requires groupies. You shall do. Yay! Does this mean we're dating now? No. We're in a strictly rockstar groupie relationship. For now? <laughs> oh, God. <coughs> Umi has joined your party. Now that you're a second party member, you can use the chat command. You can also use multi-character unite techniques in battle. Get more allies to unlock more unite abilities. Random encounters are now active in this dungeon. After fighting 25 battles in this area, random encounters will be turned off. If you would like to fight beyond that, press the tab key to bring up the main menu and select the fight option. Okay. So, I can chat now, yes? Is that a live starfish in your hair? Yes, her name is Penta. Isn't she cute? A live starfish in your hair? People think I'm disgusting. What's this way? Let's not go over there yet. Let's go over there. The town of Miskatonia is just past these series of caves. I'm sure there is some kind of deed you can do there. To Miskatonia! I'm actually going to leave it there for now. Uh, so we've just started. We'll be like I'm, I'm playing more of this game, whether you like it or not. <laughs> this is getting fucking brilliant. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, if you did, hit that like button, leave some comments below, uh, tell us how much we love the handsome Cthulhu winners. And I shall see you next time. Goodbye! <laughs>